I bought this camera. I had been eyeballing one for a really long time, and I put together my graduation gifts and my last savings and finally took the plunge. I thought that this big investment would be at Spark. I had taken some time off after I finished school to figure things out, and I was still just as confused as I was before. I hoped that this camera would give me a sense of direction, that it would give me clarity, but I only picked it up once to take these terribly shot videos, and so I waited until the last day that eBay let me, I packed it up, and I sent it back. It's weird, though, because procrastinating isn't something that's new to me. It's pretty much my most recognizable characteristic, but this time, not reaching my goal felt different. It felt heavier. It kind of reminds me of this episode from the last season of Avatar. It's called Nightmares and Daydreams, and it's one of the most distinct episodes in the series. Not only does it have some of the show's most unique imagery, but it's one of the few episodes that have almost no plot progression. When I was younger, it was one of the episodes that I would consider skipping when it came on, but looking at it now, I can see that the main character, Aang, is really struggling. He's not fighting any tangible villain, but he's having a battle in his own head. See, he's a few days away from what he thinks will be the biggest moment of his life. He thinks that he's at the doorway to his destiny, and due to that pressure, he can't sleep. As the episode goes on, Aang's insomnia gets worse. His nightmares fully take over his mind, playing tricks on him, even in the daytime. He becomes convinced that he won't be able to win the upcoming battle, and it's there, in the mental space where the fear of failure overcomes all self-belief, that I found myself when I brought back that package to the post office. That camera kind of felt like the last stand for the part of me that wanted to be creative. Whenever I listen to the people I admire, they talk about the willingness to chase your dreams. Whether it's coal rapping, if you don't aim too high, you aim too low. Or the countless podcasts I've watched talking about how important it is to burn the boats. I think there's a drive that you get when you focus on one idea, when there is no plan B. And yeah, there's people who can multitask and still find a way to do what they want while working. I watch one of my best friends make beats every day, but I don't think I'm one of them. I think the comfort zone will be the place that the aspirations for the exceptional come to an end for me. I really don't need a lot to be content, so the security, the responsibility, and I guess you could call it the purpose that comes with a job will more than likely be enough for me, and part of me embraces that. I truly believe that there's value and dignity in pretty much every job. There's definitely value in having enough money to go out with your friends on the weekends. It's the part of me that knows I'll be able to find joy in the stereotypical work life. But the other part of me hates it. It's the part of me that would spend an ungodly amount of time watching FIFA pack openings when I was 12. It's the part of me that says the last game at 3 a.m. knowing that I'm playing at least two more. It's the part of me that copes with every failure, every rejection, and every heartbreak by saying, it's okay. It might be bad now, but one day it'll be worth it because these are the things that make you special. Maybe maturing is realizing that convincing myself that I had the potential to do something great was just the way I got through adolescence. Maybe I'm just mad at myself for returning the camera or giving up on myself too easily. Maybe I'm just mad because my job applications keep getting rejected. I'm really not sure. What I do know is that I hope I have an ending like Aang. See, the last night before the battle, Aang finds this bed. He's finally able to let go of his worries and he falls asleep. But more important than sleeping, he starts to dream again. <laughs>